One take one. We are in Puerto Rico right now to knock out Jake Paul. Drop top tang, man. What you think? No, you can fight. You got a good ass jab. Just get my knockout at. All they all out there, y'all scared to fight him. <laughs> y'all scared. Come on. YouTube is good. We are in Puerto Rico right now to knock out Jake Paul. <laughs> I'm just playing. This is a deep cut with Jake Paul. We pulled up to Puerto Rico. We're gonna meet him at his boxing gym a little bit later. Very excited for this episode. This is a guy that has dominated the internet for a lot of years and is now doing that in professional boxing. So this is gonna be one hell of a story. As a creator myself, this is the guy to get the game from. This is the guy to learn the story, even from all of his good times to his bad times, to everything in between. I'm ready to hear the Jake Paul story. And then I pre-interview refresher on the story. My goal is to get like I said, the real story, you know, this guy's from small town in Ohio, blew up on Vine, moved to LA, started one of the biggest and like first house of influences, rode it all the way, all the way to the peak of what you could be as a YouTuber, came all the way down. So there's so much of a person that changes when you chase creating content or live in Hollywood like that. And it's changed him a lot. And he speaks about times that he was playing this character full time and that character was just hard to keep up with and it changed him as a person hollywood came with so many different things and i just want to know what it was like to go through that and then what would that be like to other creators because it's like that's probably the most common job that every kid wants to be as a content creator now so what does that look like what comes with that and then how has he found himself now back through boxing? So, it should be a hell of a conversation. You gonna get a haircut in Puerto Rico? Hell yeah, I need a cut. I've been traveling so much, I, I don't have time to cut my own hair. And I want this Puerto Rican barbershop experience, so. No offense to the guys on Instagram, because I got so many barbers that support me on the gram. When I go to a new city in the States, I try to go to like an up and coming barber. I try to get like, like when we was in Phoenix, we had like a 17 year old dude. Now I'm in Puerto Rico. But I just want to go to like a, a Puerto Rican barbershop randomly because I'm in another country and I just want like the experience out of country. Getting ready, getting amped up, man. Getting excited. You got your boxing gear? I do got all my boxing gear in my bag. Now, mind you guys, bro, Jake is over 100 pounds heavier than me. So if I get in there, he maxed out on your boy. It ain't gonna look good. You said you would box against an influencer. I'm gonna throw some names out. You tell me who wins. All right, you ready? All right, you versus Jake Paul. I'm gonna smoke Jake Paul. Are you sure? I'm positive. So I don't want nobody in the comments that don't understand weight classes to be like, oh my God, Jake Paul knocked you out. <laughs> yeah, Ray probably would knock me out of there. Man, it's heavy. Steaming hot in Puerto Rico, extremely humid. I mean, I get it from the beach and all that, but it's hot outside, terrible. Not as bad as Phoenix, but nasty work out here, Puerto Rico. Drop top tang, man. If you're a loyal Snapchat follower, you know in LA I was going crazy, so we got the rental, ran it back. Green is my favorite color. It's gonna be a great day. It's supposed to rain, so I. I, I should, Let's I not risk it. <laughs> I feel like we should until it rains. I feel like until it rains, we uh, risk it all, y'all. It's a barber that I know of through the barbering industry called Anthony Barber. And his barbershop is really close to the gym. So we're gonna go there, try to get a really quick cut. I hope somebody's available. It might be like all appointment only, but I'm gonna try to get it right now. 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Two seconds later. That job top tank, baby. Oh, it's already raining. I told you. That was fast. <laughs> that was fast. No fun. I right, made it to the barbershop. Hopefully we get in and out. Oh, look at the dog. Hey, buddy. How are you, bro? I'm great, man. Yeah, good? Good, bro. Good. What do you want, bro? One. One. And high fade. High fade? One and high fade. High skin fade. Puerto Rican fade? Yeah, I need it, yeah. Puerto Rican fade. That's what I came for. How long have you had this barbershop? Yeah, I got in this barbershop for nine or 10 years. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, but I got in 20 years. I'm eight years now. Who's the best uh, Spanish artist? I am old school, bro. Now, the best in this moment is Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the old school, Daddy Yankee. 
that. I like peso pluma. In Puerto Rico, the people like the Mexican music. Peso pluma. I like pe I like peso pluma. Do you cut your own hair? No. He cut your hair. I cut my own, but it's easy. This haircut's easy. How long does it take you to cut it yourself? If I'm really, if I'm really like fast, maybe th it could be like 30 minutes. One fade is easy. Oh, yeah, I see how you do. Thank you so much. Oh. Don't forget to come to my barber shop, bro. Of course, bro. Of course, Support thank you. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> yes, I got a good haircut. Yes! That feels amazing. Shout out to Anthony. All right, haircut's done. Coffee will be a cool move if we could do it. I don't know where it's at, but yeah, on the way to the gym. Gym's right behind the barbershop, actually. Uh, gotta be there in less than two hours is when we shoot. So let's go, let's go. Big pothole, bro. The roads. Roads in Puerto Rico. Do some work. Mopar. 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 You like my Mustang? Uh, leaving a barbershop. Grabbing a coffee. You want coffee? You want a coffee? No, we're good. We got coffee here. We just got like hot coffee though. So if you if you want to get coffee, go in your vanilla latte. Then <laughs> go for it. You don't want a vanilla latte, brother? Nah, I don't want that cinnamon on top. Like, like I'm getting topped off with. Yo, I just frying me, bro. Like, all right, I'll be there in like 15 minutes. All right, sounds good. See ya. Cook me for no reason. <laughs> Should I give the Outlander a little love tap? I just want to get my knockout at. What's your thoughts on Jake Paul's gym? gym? Insane. Bro, state of the art. You got everything in these. Full lock in. If you got a gym like this, you're only bound to be a savage. You're bound to do whatever it takes. Details, man. No crinkles in the rug. Pain. <laughs> See how fast his hands are, man? Oh, it says Logan Paul on it, bro. I think he has. Wow. They're like childhood dreams. So that's crazy. Freaking me, WWE champion of the world. I need to get you in the ring. Bro, I'm down. Cameo? I'd hit the craziest, like, high flyer off the top rope. <laughs> Swanton bomb. Strong jab. Any of you go ahead, sign me. My locker's right there. <laughs> I can take some work. <laughs> if it was 100 pounds lighter. Shit, man. Easy. 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 All right. We're praying real quick. All right. Dear God, thank you for this day that you've given us. Thank you for allowing us to wake up in good health, God. Um, just thank you uh, for this shoe. Thank you for the people that are helping hands, God. And uh, we pray that everything flows smoothly and in your plan, God. Um, and we're grateful. So, amen. <laughs> Oh, is that for you guys, yeah, it looks great. Thanks for all the hard work. Appreciate it. What's up, bro? How are you? Ah, great. Good to meet you, bro. Good to meet you in person. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, man. We've been trying to do this, I feel like, for a while. You worked out this morning? What'd you do? Yeah, I just did uh, four miles. What was the pace? It was like 8.30. You doing about four every morning or morning? I'm not trying to do too many long runs because I'll, I'll burn too much muscle off. Maybe you boxing later today? No. Just one practice today, and I'm already, I'm basically ready to fight, so just kind of chilling now. Just chilling till fight time? Yeah, because we started early. Just, I like to be prepared weeks in advance yeah. versus like trying to play catch up. So you got my locker waiting for me? Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> one of them is opened up. Yeah. You, you, been, you box? I used to fight amateurs. Okay, sick. Yeah. Golden gloves, all that? Nah, nah, I ain't get that far. I'm yeah. undefeated though, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, I got a good one. Right. One take one. What up, bro? What's up? Welcome to the shop. Thank you, man. I got you yeah. some W swag, W product in the joint. You got all of that, all that in there. I'm looking like a caveman. Yeah, it's about time. I'm, I'm in camp mode, so. Yeah, boxes usually thug it out in camp mode. How often you usually get your cut? I try to do it like once a week, just because we're always filming. Yeah. So. Yeah. How do you do your haircut? I basically hit the like avatar with this like, <laughs> and then uh, basically just clean up the beard a little bit. Yeah. And I don't know about that. You got a big fight coming up on July 20th. Yes. Against Mike Perry. Yes. Which is gonna be your what, 11th pro fight? I guess so, huh? 
It's flown by quick. Pro Rec, man, Pro Rec is growing, man. I'm about to be 10 and 1. That's crazy, yeah. 11th fight. Just yeah. what was the motivation to, to even start? When you're making these and you're building this YouTube, why are you doing it? It started off as a love and something that we would laugh at and something that made us happy. And then when you can turn that love into a career and something that is starting to make money, I was like, this is it. Like, I'm going to put all my eggs into this basket because at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to not take this opportunity. I'm going to take the risk. I would rather take the risk and fail versus like wishing I had done it when I was older. Let me get some of these quick questions, man. These are quick questions, you know, that you answer. It might be the craziest answers, but top five pound for pound boxers right now. I would say Usyk, Naya Inoue, Terence Crawford, Better Biev, and David Benavides. This question's funny, but if you were to rebuild Team 10 today, <laughs> who would be your 10? They could be boxers, they could be your friends, they could be creators. That's so crazy. I would, I would put Nick Crompton back on the team. All right, we, we got to bring Nick back. I would have probably Drewski. Aiden Ross. You got three. I would put, I think Speed should be on there. You got four. Eric. Five. Okay, right. I would bring Lucas and Marcus back. So in the seven? Yeah. We got to put Lele Pons. Is your brother making the 10? I don't think, I don't think he's making it. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not invited to Team 10 2.0. Uh, oh, I would choose my, my best friend Jasper. I picked nine. Who was the last? 10th spot in Team 10 2.0? I would put Tana Mojo. Alright, that's 10. That's it. Top 10 2.0. That's a great list. I mean, come on. That's unstoppable. <laughs> Alright, real quick before I give this mirror to you, I just want to tell you that I am really proud of you. To watch you as just a creator and somebody watching you know, your YouTube videos, not just the things that you've done in boxing or your businesses, but the progression that you've had as a person is the most inspiring thing Thank to see you. somebody go all the way to the top and lose it all and find themselves back through that journey. Thank you, bro. Thank you for letting me share this moment, bro. This is like super special. Let's go. My guy, thank you for the haircut. Looking good. Let's go. I'm back. Yeah, you feel good? I'm back. I'm good. Right. good. Thank you for having me, bro. Thank you, bro. Much love. Yeah. Shout out to the people at home. We're wrapped. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thank you. Oh yeah, you can you can fight. How long did you train for? Um, probably like two years. Two years. I had my first fight. Y'all yeah, put me on MVP. <laughs> yeah, we need to find this guy an opponent. All they all out there, y'all scared to fight him. Y'all scared. Come on. What you think? No, you could fight. You could actually, you, you got a good ass jab. Fast jab. Where did, where did you learn at? I fought in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I got a coach in Atlanta right now. Well, yeah, if I had a hundred pounds on me. <laughs> if I had a, if I had a hundred on me. You call me out. <laughs> I don't I want had, no smoke. I have my first fight right here. If I, had I don't want no me. smoke. I know that. I don't want no smoke. Yeah, I know that. Thank you for having me on. Text me. I'm gonna you. I'll see y'all, everyone. Thank you, Pete. How do you feel? Good. That was fire. It was a great combo, I think. Yeah, I think we hit everything. Boxing, I think we hit mindset, I think we hit origin. I think we hit it all. That shit was fire. We did it. 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 W care package, unboxing. Yeah, that's sick. Uh, we got everything. We got W hat. We got W deodorant. W body wash. W water bottle. W towels. W sweats. W inverted sweats. W shorts. W shirt. W everything, man. W using the shot. Just curious, how much does a pair of shoes like that run? Uh, 175. 175 for those? Oh, bro, you need to get, bro, you need to get your money back, brother. Brother, I'll send you a pair. Would y'all pay 170? <laughs> Just sign them. I'll put them in a glass box. <clears throat> All right, 
ending Puerto Rico on a good note. Went to the casino last night. I snapped. Came back. We want some money. Good trip. Good episode. Legendary episode. Shout out to Jake and the team. <sighs> Taking W's, man. You know what we doing, so. Yeah. Tell me everything. I'm out of clothes. Everything needs to be washed, so. I'm on the way to the airport like this, y'all. See y'all on the next episode.